Can I start asking you questions? Yeah, I'm so glad that I don't have to prep. No, it's fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Ask me questions. So you were in Northern California. I was. For six was, days. Uh, yeah. It was a long time. Right? And if you want to know why Carrie was there, it's none of your business. And that's all I'm going to say. Working with private clients. Or, that sounds a little elusive. Okay. Or you can say that. But what? Okay. Let me paint the picture. We, we currently reside in Florida. This is East Coast. East of Santa Cruz, North Northern California is in California, West Coast, um, Pacific Santa Cruz. So three hours in the region, right? Easy. You take uh, an Uber to an airport. If I'm not mistaken, you left like, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning. My flight was at 6 a.m. So I was up at 2, 2, two Doing cardio. Yes. And I, I, I posted a message about this on Facebook last week. Yeah. They left. But it, 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 it bleeds into the whole topic of today's show. Yeah. So you were up at 2, I believe, 2.45. Yeah. yeah. Right? And then you went downstairs, did your fasting cardio, came back upstairs, had a shower, put on makeup, got dressed, we are already hot. Interesting story on all that, yes. And then I took you down to the front lobby of our condo where you got a few of support by the way of work. And for uh, everyone out there who thinks I'm a mean, chauvinist, not good husband, that was your boss. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do the Uber. Thing. I would have driven you. Okay. So you were you were up at 2:45, cardioed, showered, ready, out the door into an Uber by about 4:30. Yeah. Okay. You flew to Utah. I did. Which is also uh, a time zone deviation. Two hours behind. Yeah. Right. You were there for basically a day. Mm -hmm. Got yourself to sleep, then carried on to North California, another time zone deviation. Yeah. Where then you worked for your trip. Yeah. Right. With your private client. While you're preparing for a fitness competition, which is four weeks from today, if I'm not mistaken. And in a practice peak of it. Which people don't know what that means. So let me just give you yeah. a, a brief overview. Like preparing for a fitness competition involves a lot of things, nutritionally, hydration, training wise. But what's often called peak week is the week of your show. Mm -hmm. So you start to increase water, change calories, change training stimulus. It's all meant to essentially dehydrate you. To, to bring down the subcutaneous uh, uh, water that's being held just below the skin so that your muscles rip yeah. and ripple to their greatest capacity. And that way, when you get on stage, you present the greatest package possible, right? And that's a very, it's a strenuous week, not just physically, but mentally, right? And so you are traveling into different time zones, having woken up at 2.45 in the morning to go and work for four days straight while you were doing all this peak week prep. Did you have a I did not. Did you have a conniption? Yeah. Did you have a um, cry fest? No. Did you punch holes in walls? Were you irritated, frustrated, or any other way capacitated? Only when I spilled my coffee one time. Because <laughs> that was a small irritant. <laughs> but the point is, is that you basically maintained a very even keel, relaxed, normal, Car normal Carrie Campbell kind of persona. I did. Enough.